So today we're talking about adding new fish to an existing aquarium. Um, when you go and buy your fish at a local pet store, hopefully the fish are healthy and have come from a reputable dealer. And the next thing you're going to want to do is take the plastic bags that they give you the fish in and you'll float them in your fish tank. What you don't want to do is pour the water from that aquarium dealer and that tropical fish dealer right into your fish tank. You really don't know what may be in suspension in that water. So in this video, I'm going to show you what my method is. We start off by floating them in the tank. This will equalize the temperature. It normally takes about 10 minutes. But to be on the safe side and to keep the stress level as low as possible for these fish, we're going to uh, match the temperature perfectly. I'm going to take this little syringe and take small samples of the aquarium water and amend it to the water from the fish store. I do several cycles of this over a 10 or 15 minute period. And that way, not only is the temperature balanced, but your fish won't be shocked by the water quality that they're going into as compared to that which comes from the aquarium store. So then we verify the temperature. This is a calibrated thermometer, so this is kind of overkill, but the tank is at 75.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and I want to make sure that the water temperatures in the bags with the water from the uh, fish store is also at 75.6. And it is. So this is a 54 gallon fish tank. If you haven't seen my previous video showing you how I set it up, then you might want to check that out. I'm putting Cory catfish in here. I have four of them. It's recommended that you have at least three. They're social and do better when they're in groups. Now, the general rule is when there's a 54 gallon tank, for example, you might think you can put in 54 inches of fish in there. I plan to keep the, about half that capacity. Uh, the next thing you want is a really soft net. This is a soft net by Tetra. And I'm going to first pour the fish into this net using this Pyrex measuring cup here. And that way we're not just pouring the water through the net and leaving the fish exposed to the air. This also cuts down on the stress by allowing their water to be with them until you actually pull the net out and stick them right in the tank. Probably overkill, but the more you can reduce the stress level of the fish, the better they're going to acclimate to their new environment. And here we're releasing uh, neons, neon tetras. I think I have a total of 11 neon tetras in this tank. They do best when they're in schools. And we're releasing the Cory catfish. They obviously don't look very stressed, but also take a lot of time to look them over as you're turning them loose to make sure there's no ick or something on them. And then of course, lastly, we're putting in zebra danios. These are referred to as long fin uh, zebra danios. So this is a community fish tank, and those are three species of fish that get along really well. So we have the quarry cats, the zebra danios, and the neon tetras. The zebra danios, of course, um, have a pecking order, and so they race around and got really active because there were already um, zebra danios in the tank. So they chased around for about the next uh, 16 hours, and today they're all paired up and schooling nice and easy. So that's the whole thing. Don't introduce water from your fish store into your home tank and instead follow the method that I've shown. And I'll just leave you to watch the fish for a little while. This is a nice community tank, 54 gallons, and uh, there are no problems with the social structure here in this community tank. Good luck and enjoy your own fish. Thanks for watching.